If you're a Brighton England fan, we'd love to know how do you feel about... I mean, put aside your bitterness that he went off to Chelsea. Just think back to the Brighton days. I don't know why they'd be bitter. They've got a load of money and he's useless. <laughs> Tremendous. Okay. You may be quite sort of triumphant about it all. But, um, yeah, we'd like to hear from you. How do you contemplate as an England and Brighton fan, Graham Potter? Because we're getting quite a strong word here at TalkSport mm. on Graham Potter. That's not to say they won't, uh, they won't attempt to bring Eddie Howe in, but we'd like to hear from you today. Um, the good and bad, well, things that you're quite excited about, where he'd become the England manager, those things you're not so sure about because, you know, you saw a lot more of him than we did. And we don't get a lot of Ostersons fans listening to the station. So I think we're going to have to tap into your expertise. So um, 03717 uh, to get in touch and give us a call and, and tell us in person. Talksport.com forward slash H&J, text 81089 or tweet to TSH&J. If you're not able to call us, you can send a WhatsApp voice note. Oh, oh, a WhatsApp voice note. Not a voice note. Not a voice note. <laughs> um, like I'm this. very posh. <laughs> yeah. At 03717 double two double three double four this Rinders. afternoon. In Rinders, yeah. 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 I, I, honestly, it is going to be Grand Potter, but it's just more of the same. It's just another nice bloke with a beard, as you said. I, I think they need <laughs> someone harder. I'm suggesting that bloke that's just been fired off strictly. I think he'd lick them into shape. Well, OK, <laughs> an interesting old-school take there from Andy Jacobs. I'm joking. Yes, Daily of Star have called for Jurgen Klopp because of his teeth. That's not really a serious suggestion, is it? Yes. Whereas Chris Waddle thinks Pep would be perfect. Thanks, Chris. He Tremendous would be. Suggestion. I mean, uh, Chris, I'm <laughs> like not... he's really going to do it. Yeah, I, I, I think he absolutely would be perfect, but, you know, he's not going to do it, is he? Let's he's be honest. Not, you know, it's just not going to happen. It's down to three people, really. It's down to uh, Eddie Howe. Can he be prized away from Newcastle? Oh, yes. Uh, it's down to Graham Potter. Um, or hmm. it's down to... Um, I mean, Potch. Got, no, not, not Potch. What am I talking about? The under-21 oh, Lee coach. Carsley. Lee Carsley. Mine mm. completely blank. So they're, they're really the three runners and riders, I think, in all seriousness. And again, Newcastle Sam fans. Allardyce is 80 to 1. Is yeah, he really? I'll say 80, to Alan, one, be more like Alan it, Pardew you know. is 150 to 1. He'll be back with Majestic this weekend. <laughs> Yeah. Um, we were trying to get Neil Warnock yesterday to rule himself out, but uh, I don't know if he's going to be doing that here on breakfast or somewhere else. Look, mm. It's always good to rule yourself out. Oh, are you, yes, are you ruling good. yourself out? I've ruled you? myself out. Yeah, You're not interested? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, You'd be a bit of a throwback choice. I don't think I'd be very good, really. No, no, no. no. I, in fact, I know you wouldn't I be. I wouldn't be, no. no I'm not, I'm not um, a football coach, that's one Every reason. Newcastle fan, since the Eddie Howe stuff has started, every Newcastle fan uh, really has been saying, oh, back off, we want to keep Eddie, he's our manager. Yeah, you know. but the, the problem with all that is that, you know, if he makes a bad... To say they're a bit like they are like, were last season, hmm. and then by sort of November the pressure's on him and, you know, they're, they're not in the top four or whatever, and then they decide they're going to go in a different route, and he's missed out on this job. I'm not sure, you know... The, he, you can always say that. He's always going to back himself, well, though, I isn't he? I suppose so. But, you know, for him to be successful, Newcastle mm. had to finish mm. back in the top four next season. And that's not going to be easy. No. With the restrictions that they've got and financially, etc. You know, I don't know. And, they've, and the allies in the club have gone. I'm not, I'm, if I was him, I'd, I'd think about it. Yeah, I'm sure he will think about it. Mm. Um... But what we haven't heard, really, are Newcastle fans saying, you know what, I think we could do with a change. I think we could do better. I think there is another manager out there who could take us on mm. to another level. So, again, we'd like to tap into your local knowledge. So, Newcastle fans, you wouldn't be too sorry to see him go. We don't want any um, no, Sunderland fans no. under the cover of darkness. We want proper um, Newcastle fans There to, are more to tell options for Newcastle than there are for England. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Yeah. they don't have those kind of restrictions that uh, that, that England have. So, um, 03717 That's 03717 22333 talksport.com forward slash H&J. Text to 81089 or tweet to TSH&J. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.